Oh, wait, are we back? Hello? Refresh the page. I think we back. So, it was very strange. Yeah, okay. There we go. I'm just waiting for people to get back in. Oh god, very hot. Hey! So, Windows Defender decided that OBS couldn't access the internet and was like, nah, fuck that shit. You guys don't want to scream, right? Oh, but you know what? We back. Yes. I should also... Oops. The Galaxy team first arrived and came ashore at Prelude Beach. This is where life for all of you began as well. We heard that the Heathsphere region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. But we also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and their uses. You have both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your okay. ear is largely thanks to, thanks to Ian here. There we go. There we go. There it is. I fixed the arm a little bit. I feel like I need to make it like longer on the bottom here. But you know what? That's okay. There we go. We did it. We did it. Yeah. Go plug this in. Okay, we're good. We got audio. I'm just trying to make sure everything's working after that weird incident. Yeah. The freaking Windows my firewall tried to block OBS. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Oh, what the frick, Windows? What the heck, Windows? Advancement of our understanding of Pokemon thanks to the Survey Corps has expanded the areas we can operate safely. This is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. You truly do love Pokemon, don't you? No. Not really. Nah. Why would you say that? Pokemon have done grave injury to our fellows in the Galaxy team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose this is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. I didn't attack a Titan Steam face in. <laughs> right. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. Be warned, as a leader of the Galaxy team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions or protect Jump Life Village. Here are the from the Pearl Clans here. As for you, you should see yourself how Jeb Life is changing things to the Survey Corps effort and coming to my office. Alright. That was weird. Well. Hopefully the stream is working. I mean. I mean, it, yeah, it is working. I, I checked earlier on my phone. As long as Looking they can hear phone. and see us. Oh. Hi, friend. He, uh, tried to scare you. What? <laughs> Bye! What if when you let a Pokemon out, it could just choose to try and run away from you? <laughs> like, fuck this shit out. Break for freedom! Try and escape! Ba -ba -bum 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 -ba -da -bum -bum. Hey, uh, Haunter, do you wanna hang out with this giant weasel? Cool! Alright. Oh, they got a whole house they're building over there. Yeah. And most importantly, there's new haircuts. That's the most important. 
Did you go look at them yet? No, they teleported me outside the village. Oh. To tell me that they didn't trust me. Okay. How rude. Wait, let's investigate. Ah, okay. Oh, just read the sign. This is what that is. That how? No. You annoyed at that guy again? Valued customer! <laughs> he visits you again. Pop pods. What the heck is a pop pod? I don't know. And we need some more clothing. Cellos. Oh, okay. So she actually has a quest for us this time. She did before, too, remember? Oh, what was her other one? I can't remember what Pokemon she wanted to bring it. We are back. We never fully We're went back. down. Oh, God. Sorry. <laughs> it's so loud. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know why Windows tried to block OBS from accessing the internet. There was a Windows update recently, but I thought it was actually working better after the update. So rude. I feel like when there's a Windows update, it always, like, doesn't work right, and then it, and then it, like, they do another patch on it, and then it works fine, you know? Yeah. That was a dust flops. Next to a, a sunken ship? Is that what it was? Almighty Sinnoh. Um. Yes. Show me your new hairstyles. Oh, she is going to cut your hair? Yeah, that's what they said. Right. Old hairstyles. Let's see, what do we got? Okay. There's no new think, hairstyles? Is there... I mean, there might be one. I don't remember. Yeah, Just Dust, dust skull. skull. Yeah, I don't remember what the... There's two new hair styles. Okay. I was like, I can't remember, honestly, what the first options were, so I don't know what the new ones are, but... The middle and side oh. parts are new. Okay. okay. Okay, Well, I'm sticking with the classic. What if she could, like, botch it? <laughs> yeah, right. Did you see the, the clip of Elizabeth Ever After going around the streamer? And she's like, I think this is very important. I need you to listen to me there, Cameron Susan. Uh, she's like, Nintendo, we need to be able to hug our Animal Crossing villagers. I just want to hug them. Just add that feature. They already added it so that you can do exercises with them. Just add it that you can give them a little hug. Yeah. Can you boop the snoot? Um... So, new things that we are excited about. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Lord of the Rings TV show. The pictures look really cool from it, and I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer like some other Lord of the Rings fans that are like, if it's not exactly as it is in the books, I don't like it, you know? The heads are so big, I wonder if they could animate that smoothly. Yeah, it would have to be less of a head hug. You would have I think that would be a them. great image. Like, they tried to hug, and then, like, they're like, ow! And then, like, they Isabel just, like, headbutt you. And they're like, that's why we don't hug. Because our heads are... We don't hug happy. because we actually do the schnoo schnoo from One Piece or whatever it's called. I that's recommend why I you... do the cats. Commend you on your successful research at the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. The Cobalt Coastland. I know the Those internet is losing racists. their. Oh, the black elf and the black uh, dwarfs. Dwarf, They're yeah. like the internet. Well, not the whole internet, but you know which Just side the of the internet. Part of the, the, internet. The, the bad side of the internet is like losing their minds over it. It's like, guys, you just need to calm the frick down. Yeah. The pictures of the Lord of the Rings show look so beautiful. Like, and we watched the trailer, uh, the short, very short trailer, and it seems like it's gonna have. The right kind of vibe. Yep. Um, so I'm excited for that. And I mean, I'll honestly, anything, you say something Lord of the Rings, I'll probably We're watch in. it. 
Also, <laughs> I was losing it. Um, you know how the Lord of the Rings cartoon from the, I think it's the 80s, is, like, very beloved? Yeah. Somebody posted a picture of the elves from that cartoon, because if you don't remember, the elves from the Lord of the Rings cartoon, they look like gremlins. Like, and it's like, if you didn't have a problem with the elves from this Lord of the Rings cartoon, you should have a problem with the elves in the Lord of the Rings TV show, you know? They just look like, uh... I don't know, it looks so weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm super excited for the Lord of the Rings TV show. I, I've, as I've gotten older, I kind of feel like I've just uh, learned that if I enjoy something, I need to ignore a large portion of oh, the fan, fan base. base. Like, I can't really interact with the fan base of, like, the, the big one that we always talk about is, like, Star Wars. Can't really interact with the fan base of Star Wars because They're somebody's insufferable. Somebody's always gonna be unhappy. They're always gonna be making a big stink about it. You just gotta yeah. You just gotta like take it for what it is. I'm not saying every single piece of media that comes out for like just Star like, Wars or Lord of the Rings is like perfect. Yeah. But like if you're just enjoying it, it doesn't you're have lucky to be get perfect. Something and it's yeah. you can like have a conversation about be like Oh yeah, I think episode eight's the worst movie because of these reasons. We don't have to be like episode eight is an abomination. It should be purged yeah. from all of existence. And you shouldn't be saying things like, I won't repeat things, but like horrible things about the actors from them just because it's yeah. like your least favorite. Like leave, you shouldn't be saying all that Rose shit. Like alone, I don't remember her real name. Can you just like calm down. Like seriously, I think her name is Marie something. Is that right? The character Rose, Mellium, I think, um, something Marie Kwan. I I can't I can't remember, but I also only saw the new Star Wars movies one time. Kelly Marie Tran. Tran. Okay. I yeah. was Marie is in there. We were all kind of close. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, but yeah, they gave her such a hard time. Like when before the movie even came out, they were like attacking her. You know. Yeah. Um. And then they kind of, like, f her character over. But anyway, point of the story is, sometimes to enjoy things, you, you gotta drink. have to, you have to be like, look, I'm not going to get myself involved with that toxic fan base that is part of it, you know? Um, I like my idea better. Okay, of course you do. Um, so yeah, so Lord of the Rings show, I'm excited for that. So, yeah, when Tolkien wrote The Lord of the Rings, he definitely was not picturing Black Elves. Well, also, but, I do just have to say, I don't think he ever explicitly says all the elves are white. No, he like, doesn't. He never says that. But, like, but, like, you know, Tolkien was so, a... The Snoop smoking weed at the halftime show. Sorry, I just had to read there. Tolkien really was a white man in the fucking 50s and 80s. Mm -hmm. Like, he's had some race problems. I'm just saying it. I mean, yeah, he's a white dude, so yeah. yes, he had some race problems. Um, and all of his characters are based off of Nordic folk. Mm -hmm. But, like, I do think if you had pressed Tolkien, he would have been like, it can be whatever the hell you want, they're made of characters. Yeah, it's like a fantasy race. But so, what like, how are you to know if, like, all of them are... Yeah white, you know, like, yeah. you wouldn't know. One of so. my, that's why Mark Hamill, when people ask him if Luke is straight, they're like, Luke can be whatever the fuck you want. He's not <laughs> I love that Luke does, I love that Mark Hamill does that, because every time he does it, I bet somebody in the Star Wars, like, producer room is like, no, shut the fuck up, Mark, <laughs> don't say that, and he's just like, maybe, maybe Luke's gay, you don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway. And then, uh, um, one of my favorite Tolkien stories is that during World War II, the Germans were purging all uh, the Jewish texts. And they were like, they wrote him a letter and they were like, please tell us, like, the Hobbit and Lord of the Rings, like, your name is German in derivation, like, please tell us you're German. And he was like, no, I'm not German. And if he was like, I would be, much rather be of, like, the race you hate. Mm -hmm. And Tolkien, like, told them off. I was like, hell yeah, Tolkien. But anyway, yeah, Harmony, people were complaining because there's, there's black elves and there's black dwarves yeah. in the new Lord of the Rings show that's coming out, and 
These people, I bet these people don't even know what the fuck people, Valinor they, is. These they people have probably off. never even read the Silmarillion. Yeah, they okay? can fuck Like, off. are you even a real, like, shut up. Anyway. You can catch these hands. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, there's the boat. Yep. Where the dust skull is. Uh, but anyway, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, but what I, as a, as a Lord of the Rings fan who has read a lot of the books, I do have to say... I am a little sad at the show that the female dwarves do not have beards. Yeah. Because that's like a thing is that the dwarven races, they have beards. Uh, yeah. And especially because Christopher Tolkien and... Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, Christopher sh- died, right? Um, I think Christopher Tolkien I think he died, died fairly recently, but yeah. the Tolkien estate doesn't want to sell all the rights. So this is just kind of like a loose mm-hmm. adaptation. Um... But yeah, that's that's my uh, that's my our biggest, deep take. Racist that's my suck. deep take. <laughs> Racist, shut up! You don't get to say anything. But the other thing I was gonna say that we're excited about, well, I'm excited about it, is the we watched also watched the trailer for the Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness, and I think it looks really cool. It looks cool. I'm like I'm excited to go see that, and like. Yeah, it looks sick, and I think I from the shots that they showed, I think they're definitely going to connect it to Loki, obviously, in WandaVision. Wanda is, like, very clearly an important player in uh, this new movie, and um, I can't wait to see what they do with it, you know? Yeah. Um, and then we also yes. are a third of the way through season two of Glock and Key. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty good. Oh, you want to battle? She wants to fight you. That's, that's what, what. Yeah, that's what. Um, one of Ian's friends said that. Yeah. In the one scene when he's walking up and that they they. We're having a double battle. Uh. Hey. <laughs> oh no! They're teaming up on you. They're two timing you. To Stu. Patrick. Oh, Patrick Stewart. <laughs> I was like, what is, what is P. Stew? I was like, he's so excited, he can't even type a word out. <laughs> no. But yeah, Patrick Stewart, so yeah, that pretty much uh, kind of confirms it. Also, I think everybody has just been waiting for them to, like, successfully merge the X-Men back into the Marvel Universe, right? Well, and when it, by everybody, I mean fans of the X-Men and fans of the Marvel Cinematic Universe have just been waiting for them to do it, so hopefully this will be- I mean, it makes sense, especially if you watch the Loki TV show with, like, the merging, uh, universe and different times- timelines and all that kind of stuff, you know, it just- This is not- what the hell is happening? She challenged me to a battle, there was two Pokémon, and I didn't- I only get to use one? Can you- you can't throw out another one? Yeah, after the Fox acquisition, it was it was inevitable. That's true. I am inevitable. <laughs> yes. There you go. Now you only gotta deal with Eevee. But that is she did do you a little dirty, uh, throwing out the two. Somehow, <laughs> shit. Like you know, they were like, "Hey, let's battle." And I was like, "I'm game," and they're like, "Two v one now." And you're like, "Excuse me." What? Look at that tiny Eevee looking up at See your you tiny traveler. Oh no. Stomped all over that Eevee. Oh no. Also, um, I found a set of Quest for Glory posters. It's $100 for all four of them, but I think I need to honestly buy them. Yeah? Once I sort out my uh, employment situation. Oh, you feel better now after you double timed us? Yeah, that it, it looks really cool. Like, if you do end up buying those, I think they'll go nicely in our gaming corner, which we haven't really decorated our gaming corner. We just kind of have, like... I mean, we have the King Slime sitting over here, and we have yeah. um, all of my I, D books. I would like to get, like, some kind of shelf here where we can put the slimes on, and that would open up more space on our Yeah, we top. need a slime shelf. Yeah. We need a slime shelf, because we got King Slime over here, we got Mini Slime, and then... There's a big slime that's covered in cat fur over there. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, we also have... We also have that little ditto. Oh yeah, they sent us that we too. We also have this little ditto. I think they got us 
that's um uh he's he's very sticky so he's always covered in cat hair because uh oh all right, well, all right then <laughs> yeah they gave you a bigger ditto um i think they said it was some D, &D masks yeah, yeah. I think that is what we... But our, the, our little ditto is, like, made of some kind of jelly. So he's always covered in cat hair. But we have him sitting on our, like, little mic stand because he fits right there. Yeah. He's waving at us. We could also put, um, Arceus on this. That's true. We could put Arceus over here, too. I have Arceus sitting on the counter over there. And I have Luna, a stress toy ditto that's so good. You just squeeze him. Luna's like, you gotta stop doing this to me. Look at her. Oh, Ronnie. Ronnie. No. Look. Oh! Spring Cat! I only remember Per Ugly. What's the first one? Uh, the, what, what is this one called? Why'd you shush me? It can't hear me. I didn't shush you. Oh, <laughs> I thought you said shh. Glam meow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Click in the grass so that they can't see you. Hide, hide. He got so quiet. Donk! <laughs> Back into the darkness I go. So cute. Got him! <laughs> and just the sound that the heavy ball makes when it hit impacts on the Pokemon yeah, is so intense that you're just like, are you okay? You probably gave that Pokemon a concussion, or like broke a uh, broke a leg or something on there. So it's so intense. <sighs> yeah, on top of the back attacks, right? There's there there's the beach ball Pokemon, as I call him. Seal. No. Ah, you didn't see anything. Who? Who? The seal? Yeah. I mean, it didn't look. Hey, he looks friendly. He's just hanging I out. I know, but I want to catch him. Oh. Maybe he's not friendly. Maybe he's gonna roll towards you. He's rolling. They see me rolling. <laughs> he started going to sleep! Yo, what's that red thing on the... beach? Well, we caught one. Yo. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Cutie! Oh, so cute! Pop pod! Oh! There you go! It's a pop pod! I do That's need what that is. To drop for the quest, yeah. Um. Get eaten. Yeah, quest items. Nice. I don't remember how many I need. I think <laughs> I need three. Uh, you definitely need more than one, so I would just start picking them up. Oh, you're out here too? What the? A new type of. Oh, iron chunk? You don't have to throw your Pokemon at those ones. You yeah. Can just pick them up. Oh. No. Oh. Yo, he. Yo, he looked at you. He's like, what are you doing? I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, we can see that. There's a lot of alphas over here. Oh yeah, look at all these guys. Look at all these buff people. It's their workout beach. Some uh, beast pride still feel something that people would be upset about representation in media. I know, like it. I was telling Ian when I was looking at the Lord of the Rings show stuff because I was like, as soon as the photos that they did with Variety dropped, I was like looking at them and I was like, yo, this is dope. Like, the scenery and the costumes and, like, everything looks, so, like, so beautiful. And then I was like... Ah! What the fuck? Who did that? I think it was that guy. That little guy. Um, but then I told Ian, I was like, I made the mistake of reading the comments because, like, some people just instantly, like, saw black people and were like, I, I choose to be upset about this for no sane reason. Yep. And now I'm going to make that your problem. Oh. Um. And it is, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I, whenever I see stuff like that too, I always think of that show, 
uh, conversations with people who hate me. Yeah. Right? Is yeah. that what it's called? Yep, I love that podcast. Where he, like, like he finds people that, like, comment stuff like that and then interviews them and, like, I mean, like, I feel like a majority of the time the people are like, I was just in a bad place. What I said was, like, really But ignorant. it's normally not stuff like that that they've commented. It's more that they've specifically singled out a person and been like, hey, your specific, like, piece of media you're in sucks for this reason you're a bad actor or something. It's not like, mm. I'm racist, you know? I, sometimes it is, though. Um... Or maybe those people don't want to go on because they just know that they're racist yeah. and they're like, oh. Um, but yeah. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. Like, I always also think of, um, John Boyega, who plays Finn. Because, like, if you watch the interviews, like, early on, he's, like, so happy. Like, yeah. and he's, like, obviously, it's, like, a dream come true. He's got, Playing like, Star a, Wars. he's got a lead in, like, Star Wars, which he's, like, loved growing up. And then as time goes on, you can just see how, like, the fan base or, like, the racists or, you know, the writing of the movies just, like, slowly drains the life, drains out, of life out of him. And it's just so, it's, it's very depressing. Yeah. It's very depressing. So... But I will continue to be, I will do the best that I can to be a supportive fan. Like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do what I can. I'm gonna do my part. Buy all the posters. I'm gonna, uh, you know, any book or art, anything like that. Sign me up. I'm there for it. Yeah, there are just days where you see, like, the worst of humanity, and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. This is a little bit chop standing down there. He's like, they're probably aggressive, I would guess. Oh, yeah, you're doing your you're hotel tonight? thing. Is it the first? Is it the first day? First day of new work? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I apologize. He's like, come back here. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> That's how he's walking. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Me. Are you excited? I have returned! Welcome back, CMB. <laughs> oh, just a three-hour training shift. Well, those are nice, because you can kind of get, like, a vibe check on the work environment, I feel like. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, I forgot thanks. we were doing that. Thanks, CMB, for donating to that. I feel like we should talk about it more than just one time per stream so that people can come in can see. Yeah. Yeah, if you guys want to have any channel points you want to talk toss at our drunk storytelling um thing that we're raising points for sleeping? that's how he sleeps he takes a knee <laughs> like a like a real pokemon um thank you harmony yeah so the premise is essentially like drunk history but ian and i will just be talking on uh like a topic of our choosing of like a historical uh, event, fact, or like something lore related for um like fairy tales or like cultural like stories, something like that. So yeah. If you want to hear us ramble yeah. um, about, about that kind of stuff, go ahead and give some channel points for that. I think it would be fun. And then uh, if anybody else knew the topics that we uh, were talking about, like, you could come in and let us know what, like, you think about it and stuff, and I think it'll be a good time. We're gonna pre-game the stream. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we plan to do it, uh, like, next month sometime. I think you see the idea. Right? Yeah, once we hit it, we would set a date. Be sometime in March, probably. Oh my god! <laughs> These Pokemon are not messing around out here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you caught it unawares? It was attacking you! Well, there you go. You somehow finagled your way to a surprise attack. I don't know. Yep. Just pro... pro strats. Maybe my 
topic should just be, um... Oh, if you just hit them in the back. So if you just ran around really quick at yeah. the time, it would be good. Um, but maybe my topic was I'll just research, like, Tolkien, like, Middle-Earth lore, and then I'll just, like, bring it all. I mean, yeah, back. that's cool, but it's something I already know probably as much as that's you true. Do. Like, I want to find something weird that, like, the other one of us doesn't really know about, you know? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something weird. Like, that would be for chat. Probably. Uh-huh. I just wanted to be helpful. <laughs> Quell the Lady of the Ridge. A couple of A-pumps on my pack full of goods. Oh, no. Oh, there they are. <laughs> There's the thieves right there. <laughs> They're just watching him? They're teasing him? Oh no. These naughty, naughty monkeys. Yeah. Okay. However, I am going to warp back to camp and, uh. Expert in the Pokemon manga lore. Yo, that shit's wild. I do have I to was say, telling Randy about that. I, I've never read the Pokemon manga, so I, I would be. I would be the person that would be being told, told about it, probably. I don't think I've read- or I have read some of it, but mostly I just have watched lore videos on it and been like, mm. what the hell is going on in the Pokemon universe right now? <laughs> what the hell is going on, What's yeah? What's that going on out there? You can do it. I believe in you. Maybe you can't do it. There you go. What's in that pile of leaves? Where? Right oh. There. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I thought mistake. maybe there would be a Pokemon hiding in there, so. Yeah, we just ruined this cuddly spot. I don't know. I've had that stuck in my head ever since we watched the cat video. Yeah. Where they go, I wiggle, know what wiggle. you do with a big fat butt, and the cat's butt starts wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. wiggle. Boo, 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 boo. We could probably get, uh, I think Gizmo's the only one that really does stuff like that. Oh. Luna's too old now, she's I an old lady. Oh. Ah! oh no. Oh no! Violence! And A-pumps. Hey, hey, this hey! Paris, this Paris is like, come back here, you piece of shit. I saw you. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Oh no, even the deer. Oh no, the deer. I thought the deer was gonna fight you too. Ah! Was like... Oh no, not this again. Oh no. Can you chill out for two seconds, Paris? Oh my god. I just wanted to catch that deer. You jerks. Are they gonna stop running away eventually? I don't know, maybe I have to throw a Pokemon at them. Oh, oh maybe they're no, gonna they fight wanna you? fight. They're gonna fight you. Level 30? Damn, these guys are... No joke, huh? Damn it. Were they are they fighting type? I think they're normal. Uh -oh. Goodbye. Dang. They're like, you thought you could catch us? Pure normal. Pure normal. Take that. Oh, dang. A critical hit. A hard hitting stance. Oh, no, that doesn't sound good. He's wilding out. He is wilding out. He got to go twice, I think. Oh, now he's going to the grave. Okay. You killed my friend!
best new Pokemon from this is the new Zor Zoraora. Zor I always say they're I always say this one wrong. What? Oh. Zor Zora art forms. Are they the ones that were in the trailer? The, like the little fox ones? Is that the right Pokemon that I'm thinking of? Where they look like they're like little They're like very doggos. fluffy little No. Um Yes, okay. that was them. Okay. Yeah, they do look really cute. I do like all the fluffy ones, like the Growlithe and, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank on its evolution's name right now. Arcanine? Arcanine. Yeah, Arcanine. Right, Luna? They're all fluffy like Luna. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have been upset. But they were in the trailer. <laughs> Oh, the two, or do you mean, or Growlithe, maybe? Oh, I thought we were talking about Growlithe. They're so cute. Alright, I will try to not, I haven't even seen them yet. Ronnie I saw it. has no spoiler filter, though. It's hard because I don't care about spoilers, so I have to, like, really try to, like, I really have to try to, like, think and be like, don't say stuff. Oh, you didn't watch any trailer? Oh, the initial one where it's like all fuzzy and you don't really see anything? Yeah, they. The second trailer they came out, it was like cleaned up footage. Yeah. And then it like shows what the grainy footage showed, so. Hey! <laughs> They're after me again. I'm trying to think about the last time, like maybe. Maybe when I was like seeing <laughs> my big old mouth shut. Hey, one time, um, this is gonna be a spoiler about, um, Last of Us 2, by the way, if you, if you care about that game, stop listening. But I went to my friend's chat when Last of Us 2 first came out, and I, he was supposed to be coming to a game night with us, so we, like, all went to his chat to annoy him, and I thought it was only us in his chat, so... I, like, said to him, I was like, oh, I already know Abby lives at the end of this game. And then people in his chat were like, how dare you say that? And I was like, oh, there were other people here? Because we had been chatting for, like, ten minutes and, like, nobody else had said anything. Except for, like, other friends of his that I, like, knew they didn't care. Yeah. <laughs> and I Anyways, was like, <laughs> what you're hearing is that Ronnie is very toxic. I'm really bad at... Spoilers is uh, is, I'm just reaffirming what Ian has said. I'm bad at at, at giving. Oh my god! Spoilers. Murkrow? Ah! <laughs> You're like quick get into battle. I think you're fighting both I'm fighting of them. Both of them yeah. Which is bad. Yeah. So I'm really bad at it. I'm really bad at spoiling uh things. I was trying to think of the last time I cared about something getting spoiled for me and. The first thing is maybe like Endgame, but no I saw that home. like I saw that like opening night. I was a little concerned about No Way Home, but I really like we saw it like two weeks after it came out and I s did not see any spoilers in advance. Well, of that. you see, the rest of the internet has adopted the spoiler etiquette. Hey, I don't post anything, okay? If I post something about a game, it's like me like retweeting. Or sharing from an official site, you know? It's not me personally being like, I know this thing that happens, you know? And again, it's mostly because I know I'm gonna spoil things for people, so I don't talk about it. And I usually do, I feel like I start conversations with people and I'm like, Hey, have you seen this thing yet? Before I start talking about it, if they're like, no, I just go, alright, we will discuss something else. And I will pick a new conversation topic, because cause I cannot be trusted to only give partial non spoiler information. I cannot. Right, Luna? Luna doesn't care. See, Did I you can... see Sarah's tweet about spoiling her book? Oh, yeah. What did she say? It was something like, oh, it was about her character's name. Yeah. Right? Something with her character's name. I was I was a little worried. I've, that's another thing is, like, when I'm picking the quotes to share, 
So our book of the month this month, everybody, um, for our shared <laughs> Look at that big chongus. <laughs> Purr ugly. Um, but yeah, our book of the month this month is Lol by Sarah Jane Singer, and it's a new book um, that is self-published, and we know Sarah by association. She's close friends with some of my close friends. And I, as I'm reading the book and I'm like, you know, I always post quotes or like questions to the um, Twitter, Twitter page. Hope it, oh look, here they are. And I was the fluffiest boys. And I'm always worried when I'm posting stuff, I'm like, is this gonna be like a spoiler? Like, are people not gonna like that I like posted this? Cause it's so new, you know? Um, so I feel like the the quotes I try and post, I try and pick ones that I think are not like revealing of the plot, but just are like good quotes still. Yeah. Helena? Look at her up. What does she have around? She's wearing a mask? Oh, yeah. Is she a ninja mask? What is that? Binoculars, maybe? Oh, scuba? Is she a scuba oh. diver? Oh. Are you where I get my water mounted? Oh, maybe. Weird that she's with two growlets, though. Okay. <laughs> How do you guys see? They're so cute! It's the little one. Look at him bouncing. What did He's you say? He's more regal. The little one is the, the Lord's son. Oh. How do you know? Wow. He's little. Because he's, he's little. His witnessing his father's demise has left deep scars in oh his heart. Oh my art. god. What the heck? Help the air. This little guy? Oh. Well. They made me go in an infinite loop. What if you just kept saying it? Would she just kept being like, okay, what are you really here for? Get more and more frustrated. What are you really It's here like for? in Digimon the movie where they're using the phone like tag thing to call each other. Um, but before that they keep calling and it's like they think it's a voice of a woman being like your call has been cannot be completed. Please hang up and try again. And on the third time, she's like, "Did you hear me? They're busy." <laughs> and dies like, "Oops." Yeah. Ooh. Is it? Oh, your spit island. Okay. Okay. He's angry. I apologize. You might be my second favorite design character in this game so far. Yeah, Ty's kind of an idiot. <laughs> Kinda. No, really. <laughs> Excuse me? You're all the way over there and you're picking fights? He's, he, they can see you. Can't they? That means they can pick a fight. Alright. You chose violence. <laughs> Did you catch one already? Yeah. Murdered. You are pink a burmy. Pink burmy. I think we haven't had that one. So you so have you chosen, chosen death. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where is that quote from originally? So you have chosen death. That's a good question. Death. Look at that. That's definitely from something, right? Izzy had to put up with Ty. It's from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> You're right. Who says it? I'm trying to remember. Saruman! Right. Oh, you're right. You are right. You is right. Wow. 
Um, bad for Izzy to put up with Ty in the Digimon movie because Ty's only solution is can I just punch it? That's very true. And Izzy until, is like... Until Digimon try. And try he has a crisis and he won't fight anything. <laughs> and Izzy's always like, no, there's a smart way to do this. And Ty's like, no. I refuse. Right? Ooh, a whisk. All right, how do we get up here? Oh, mom, I'm scared. Help me! So, you have chosen death. Now, I'm never gonna forget that quote again. That <laughs> machop is like, or uh, was it machoke the second form? Yeah. Hmm. They really made this difficult. Hi, Drifloon. You gotta be able to get up there. Okay. Oh, cause you know what? I bet you can fly later, yeah. right? So you fly up there and get it. Man, if anything, that really shows me I gotta get on my Lord of the Rings rewatch. Keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I don't do it. Oh! Oh, look at that guy! He's scary. Uh, <laughs> why do you have a... I, his hair just makes me laugh. I don't know why. Because he's like bald on top and then he's got like... He's got, like, uh, David Plant hair. Or Robert Plant hair, I mean. Oh, a house! Hello? Don't mind me! Oh, it's a tent, not a house. Oh. I hate you, Volo! Hey, hello there, Ian. So so, I guess. Just wants to be friends. But I was Just gonna catch him, out. and then Volo was like, hey, how, do you like plates? <laughs> hey, do you like plates? ancient hero that battled against almighty Sinnoh. Of course. I like how there's still ancient heroes and we've gone back to the ancient times for like where most Pokemon games are, right? Well, time. I mean, this is a time Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, goodbye to uh, er, ancestor of Cynthia. Bye! It's just the tradesman. Well, I mean, the Apom just- he's walking towards you slowly. It went right over his head the first one I threw. You're just like, just slightly underleveled. A hundred and- this game is like a hundred and fifty years-ish before the present. Okay, I guess that's not ancient. That's just like, past. It's not really ancient. Ancient would have to be like, a thousand years oh, or I found plus them. or something, right? Hi. You must be Ian. Have I done something to warrant your vision? <laughs> yes. I am here! Just get a Pokemon from you. Congratulations, everybody. Gizmo is here. We get to see both kitties today. Oops. You almost broke her laptop. Gizmo always tries to look directly at the camp- at the lights. <laughs> and it's too bright. It's too bright for her. Beans. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> like at the sun, like every like I pick up Luna and Luna just goes like, and like floofs and like closes her eyes. But I pick up Gizmo and Gizmo just goes like, and like looks at the, the ring light and then she's like closing her eyes because it's too bright. You really want to know? You really don't value your own life, do you? It's d d dust ops. D d d. The piano line. So you have chosen death. 
<laughs> I'll do it. Yeah, the music is so intense. <laughs> He's like, you're just like a teenager. I'm like an old man and I'm afraid of this thing. Deadwood Haunt. Oh. Looks like a hand on your map. You did just choose death, yeah. We're choosing death. And Ted's music makes sense. I guess so. I mean, the music is still like, every piece of music is still so good. Like, yeah. Every time I hear a new piece of music in this game. Hi, hey, Gizmo, you want to come up here? She's like, no. The Lordless Island. Hi, baby. Hi, Gizmo. Hi, Apom. Hi, Apom. Man, look at all those islands out there that we'll probably be able to go to eventually. Yeah, the Amya is so good. They, like, killed it. Oh. <laughs> it's blocking your path! It's like... Halt. Oh, no. What? How did that hit me? It de-summoned your... your mount. Oh, no. Protect oh, me, Sveal! Oh, am I on the wrong side of this cliff? Did I go the wrong way? Uh, you might be. Every alpha does that. It can, it can, like, get rid of your mount. I guess... I mean, that makes sense, otherwise they wouldn't be too scary. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. okay. I thought they were just challenging me. Yeah. Hear me! <laughs> Basically. Go! Go! Knocks you on your butt. Alright, so it does a frightful presence. I gotcha. <sighs> Look at all these little spots in here. Bather's Lagoon? Maybe I was going the right way? Hi. Excuse me, have you seen the fellow from the construction corps named Yorich? Nope. Yorch? Oh, poor Yorch. Alas, poor Yorch, I knew him well. Yep, exactly. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hello. Alright, we found the Bather's Lagoon. I think they know you're there. Oh, there they go. They're gonna appear behind you, probably. Oh, or not. I just Drifloon does that, where he, like, they- Oh, they disappear, and then they pop up yeah. behind you. He does that too, but he didn't know I was there. Now he does. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's me. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, the Abra just like goes away usually, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. And the like, Abra like knows you're there when you're like so far away from it still, you know? Yeah. Get icicled. For you. Come here. Gizmo. Come here, kitty. Alright, you guys don't mind me, I'm just passing through. I really uh do feel like we should invest in a cat tree that sits at the height like right here. And then the cats oh, can like, no. sit in the background. I oh, look I, at how huge that one is compared to the other ones. Yeah. I'm always down for more cat-related items. More cat. More cat. Here's this cat. 
is well. But yeah, I'm super excited. I can't remember if I told you, so like, I'm running that campaign. Uh, with Alpha P2. Oh yeah, that would be hilarious to see how big Alpha P2 gets. Like, is it gigantic? That Murkrow's in the background being annoying. Yep. But yeah, I'm running that uh, campaign right now, and I think that next session, I think we're like two, we have like two sessions left, or like a session and a half, basically, you know? Depending on what they end up doing, or how long the fight ends up taking and stuff. So, we shall see. Oh, that's so cute! Lemon cake! Brownie has a vendetta against lemon. Well, no, I like lemon. Like, I'll eat, like, a lemon bar. I think lemon bars are good. But I was gonna say, I think lemon might be, like, my least favorite uh, flavor of cake. <laughs> yeah, see, it's, like, one of the few cakes I really like. I don't know why I just, it would, uh, like, I don't hate it. It's just, like, of the cake flavor options, it's just, like, my least favorite. All right, well, you guys can All right. double lemon cake. Let me double down to this and just remind everyone that, uh, Harvey doesn't like onions. <laughs> All right. The most important- Seems a little rude, <laughs> but- And then I'll talk shit about your taste of lemon cake. I'm coming well, to your defense. Well, there you go. You have, like, uh, you remember a fond memory yeah. when you're eating lemon. That I makes just sense. like lemon. I, don't, I never had that, so... Yeah, I feel like... I'm trying to think of, like, what would be my favorite cake. It might honestly just be, like, chocolate. Like, a type of chocolate cake is, like... Onion breath! <laughs> oh, I, I love me some onion breath. Oh, yeah, see, I was never the kid that was, like, obsessed with the sour things. Like, I never had the, um... What are the sour candies called? Not warheads. sour. Were the warheads? That's what they're called. Yeah, I never was too into those. Or and sour patch kids too. Honestly, like my sister loved them, but like I'd eat them if we had them. But they weren't my favorite. Ooh, dill pickles are like dill pickle. That's a good yeah. character. I love a good pickle. Uh, Harmony was saying the other day weird food combinations that we'd like to try, and I said I think. Some people say peanut butter and pickle is good together. And, um, that is something I'd always been curious about, but never brave enough this to This is gonna wipe me because it's fucking Murkrow. Oh, no. And you can't run away. I can. I'm just trying to throw a Pokeball. Yeah, I heard about that one. And then, like, because you know how people... Yeah, of course. Because, like, I, then I said, there's... You know how people make... There's some places you can get burgers with peanut butter on it, and then the burgers probably have pickles on it, right? Um, I wonder if, like, the peanut butter, pickle, and burger, if that would taste good. Maybe that's the weird food combination I'll try next. Like a peanut butter burger. But I love- I, I would eat a pickle with anything. Well, we're down to our last Pokemon, but we did catch the one I was trying to catch. Okay, that's good. What? No! Oh! <laughs> oh no! I can only do tomato and lettuce aside from ketchup, mustard, mayo. Oh, mayo. The, a duck burger with a fried egg and jalapeno jelly? That just sounds pretty good, honestly. Duck burger? A Fried duck egg burger. And that does sound pretty that good. That sounds pretty good. We have, um, this, uh, well, I mean, it's not specific to here. I think it's, I think that this burger place is from Maryland, maybe? It's called BGR. Um, yeah, it sounds so good. <laughs> Golduck was approaching It was, it was sleep. defending, uh, the mayo on burgers. <laughs> um, but they have a pretzel bun burger with a bacon marmalade yeah. that goes on it and it's it's ooh, so good like just the combination of those things is it's delicious and 
let me tell you, we've eaten our fair share of burgers in Atlanta because that was like one of the things I was determined to do is find like the ah! best burger in Atlanta. That one is in like the top three for me, hands down. Louisville called game. Okay, that makes sense. So they probably have like different kinds of like a lot of different kinds of meat type burgers. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ooh, I love the sounds that they make here. Oh! Hey, Ooh. hey, hey, hey! Oh, what the hell? Where'd you come from? <laughs> um, 15 to, yeah, 15 to 20 different proteins. That's crazy. Oh, daytime did troll me. Oh! I did well, spend a lot of time fighting that gold up. Yeah, you did. But yeah. Daytime troll. <laughs> and now you make me want a burger. Hey! That scared me. <laughs> hey Jeff, thanks for the raid. <laughs> Welcome in. All praise Gizmo. <laughs> Hi, Jeff. Hi, How's it going? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that Earth Squirtle emo. It's so cute. 